Hello and welcome back to another video in the world of Monster Hunter. Today is all about that beautiful, beautiful spread. And with the Rajang update, it's just gone stupid. So I do have two builds to show you. One is sort of like my solo build because, you know, shield and the ability to heal is great. It's not the most tanky of builds, but it, it, it survives, it does its job, it does things, it helps. Uh, the second is the current meta, which yet again I've tried to beat, but that damn, damn Fembato. Uh, yeah, this, the overall maxed out build is busted, and this is generally what I play in a group, particularly when I'm playing with my wife, because my wife has all of the heals. Uh, I'm trying to utilise the shield a bit more in this, because I'm usually used to just dodging everything, so bear with me on the gameplay. So, Loyal Thunder with an Affinity and a Slot. Challenger Duel 2 along with an Expert Duel 1. Now with that Slot Augmentation, you can not use it, but you will be dropping a tad bit of damage. Well, not damage overall, just your Affinity, obviously. Golden Headdress, this is obviously Rajang with Spread Duel 3 and Expert. Felshaud male beta with challenger dual 4 and critical Felshaud braces beta with release vitality expert expert Rajang waste with release vitality and spread and then Garuga Grease with release medicine and then critical critical that last medicine is just to get the uh, recovery up to level 3 because I am using two piece Black Veil, which is going to then allow me to constantly heal over time, so any chip damage or accidental accidental knocks, hits and slaps will be healed over time. It does work quite well in the long run. You don't sacrifice too much damage over the uh, maxed out meta build, and it generally does work just absolutely fine. For the weapon customizations, I'm using three close, a shield and a recoil, although you can utilize what you wish. I've seen a lot of people using two or three shields and closing down on the amount of close mods you have. This is all your own choice. Now for the Big Daddy build. This is literally only 2% higher than the previous build, which has healing, blocking, and a little bit more capability in solo play. So read into that what you will. Not much has changed here, Little Thunder with a Challenger and Attack, Affinity and Slot Augment. Rajang Helmet with a Release Evasion, or you can go with Release Vitality and Attack. Kirin Jacket Alpha with Spread and Critical. Ruinous Nogagante with Challenger Duel 4 and Attack. Rajang Waste with Release Evasion and Spread. And Guru Grease with Release Evasion and two more Critical, auto utilizing the Razor Sharp Charm for that special. But yeah, I use Release Evasion, a lot of people use Release Vitality, depends on you. I quite like dodging, um, kind of feel like it takes less time than taking a hit or being stunned, so I've allowed myself that leeway. Overall damage of this thing is nuts, and like by nuts I mean it's stupid. Um, there's several different things you can kind of do as long as they utilize a two-piece and it's a decent chest in gloves but overall that is the way in which to go uh, i use one recoil and four closest and a lot of people using special scope this only increases or your critical range which basically means you can get maximum damage for a little bit longer stay close to the monster and put another close range on congrats you do five percent more damage have a good day Right, anyway, yeah, that pretty much does just about wrap up this lovely, lovely video. Thank you very much for watching. Have fun, good luck, and don't die. Hope to see you guys pretty damn soon. If you do like my content, feel free to click the subscribe button. It is free, it helps me out. I've got a Discord, just in case you want to pop on and tell me how much shit I am. And, of course, have a wonderful day.